Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you, everyone? <laughs> Hello, Francisco. How are you doing? Is that asking to me? No? Was it a question? No, it wasn't to me, right? Hello, how are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hello, teacher. You, how was your Hello, day today? Hi. Oh, it was busy, teacher, because we have to prepare all reports because the next week we are going to have a free day. Oh, a day off. Mother's yes. Day, day off, yeah. Day off, okay, yes, on we Monday. Have finish, we, have to, we have to finish all reports. Yes, to, because you're not going to the office, right, on Monday, okay. Excellent, okay. <laughs> I'm okay too. I, I, I'm really okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you for asking. Well, guys, uh, good evening, Rosa. Today we are going to start taking the attendance because yesterday I couldn't take the attendance just once. So I have to take it three times. Do you remember? <laughs> okay, I'm going to start right now. <clears throat> Let me do it. Angeli Magali Coronado Díaz. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Edora de Mirno Yolabrito. Elvia, Elvia, perdón, Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Okay. Eh, Leslie Fernández Ochoa. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. And there we are. There we are. Okay, then we are talking about accounting, right? We are talking about things related to accounting. Um, what is the base, the base on accounting? What is the base uh, that they have to record or to take records of the money flows right the money flows in the company and the money we count the money in amounts okay in amounts so the first thing we want to do today is to learn to to express um, money amounts large money amounts okay uh, the objective for this class the objective is that you are going to learn 
how to use a new grammar figure. We call it zero conditional, zero conditional, okay? We are going to learn how to use if, right? If, that little word, if. So that's the objective for today. And we're gonna start doing a little feedback from the last class. What can you tell me? What do you remember about last class? What do you remember about last class? What was the topic? Gerund teacher. Gerunds. And when do we use gerunds? When do we use gerunds? Do you remember when do we use gerunds? Uh huh. Go to your go to your manuals and check, and let's see. Yes. When do we use gerunds? When do I, we use gerunds? I, I am G. ING ending, correct. When do we use ING ending form of the verbs? When? Can you tell me we... Yeah, sure. Uh, mm. uh, uh, no, no, listen, yeah. teacher. Teacher, uh, may, may, uh, may be a, a subject uh, after some verbs and after preposition. No listen, teacher. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my God, I was giving, and you said, uh, I can listen, but I said, why not? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here I am. Here I am. I'm back. Okay. This is the situation. When do we use uh, gerunds? When do we use gerunds? Uh, you said that as subjects, after some verbs, and after prepositions. So let's think about the prepositions. Do you see here in and about? Do you see? This is one preposition. I'm sorry. Let me get in is a preposition. Do you remember in? Do you remember about? About. That's another preposition. And we use some others like on and at. Those are the most common, okay? On and at. So on, at, in, about, okay? On, at, in, about, those prepositions. So let's think in the examples that they gave us. It says, I'm interested in buying raw material. I'm interested in buying raw material. Okay? Okay. Buying here is the action. 
okay? Buying is the action. So we use the ing verb form. That's the correct use of this verb, okay? Uh, in this case, for example, if we think about that we are going to use this verb form, ing, after some verbs, can you give me an example using a verb that requires that uh, that requires to be followed by the ing verb form? Do you remember we said like, right? You remember? After the verb like, we use ing form. So I'm going to uh, write a sentence for you just to uh, visualize this. And then you are going to give me some examples, okay? So first will be, I like going shopping, okay? I like going shopping. I like going, going is the verb. Okay, going is the verb here, shopping. So we use ing verb form. What's the action here? The action is to go. go shopping, right? Go shopping. Yes, go shopping. Aquí no se vayan ustedes a confundir y decir, ah, pero ahí tenemos dos verbos con ing. No, aquí tenemos una acción que es compuesta, ¿verdad? No, no se dice solo shopping, sino que ir de compras es la acción. Entonces, ir de compras sería go shopping, ¿ok? ¿A cuál le voy a poner el ing después del verbo like? A going, ¿ok? Now, can you give me an example of an action that you like to do? For example, Wilfredo, can you make a sentence saying, I like? I'm sorry, did you? Karma. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, for example, I like going buying snack food. Okay, I like buying 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 what? Snack food. Snacks. Snacks. Like this? Yeah. Okay, churritos. Yeah, good. I like buying snacks. Excellent. Rosa, can you give me an example using like in an ING verb form, please? I, I, uh, I like eating uh, pizza. Pizza, good. Uh huh. Now let's see, Sandra, can you give me an example using uh, like? What do you like? I like reading the book. Excellent. I like reading a book or the book. Let's say the book. Okay. The book isn't a specific book. Okay. Okay. A book is mm, any book. Okay. Any book. Mm -hmm. The book is, for example, this, right? The book. We're talking about a specific book. Okay, let's see now. Can you give me an example, Leslie, please? I like to play soccer. Okay, then we could say I like playing. Yeah, playing yeah. soccer. So yeah. I like playing soccer. Okay, this is just an example of uh, the ing verb form after the verb like. Now let's think about, I'm sorry, I wasn't meant to, I wasn't meant to erase. Okay, it was here, right? Okay, 
Now let's think about the verb that we have in the in the manual. I prefer, okay. I prefer. I could say an example. For example, Elvia prefers um, eating pupusas. Okay. Elvia prefers eating pupusas. After the verb prefer we are going to use an ing verb form, okay? Correct? There we go. Now let's see the other verb you have there. It was dislike, it's the same use as like. Now let's think about, for example, help. It's another verb that we can use ing verb form after that verb, for example. Um, let's see. Lisa, help, um, help, helps. Mm, I don't remember right now, something. I'm going to leave it like this after help because after help we have a compound thing and I don't want to, uh, uh, confuse you okay so we're gonna say another one we could say mm, uh love right love it's the same as like right it's the same as like but in uh in an upper way so it will be for example i love i love watching i love watching tv okay I'm saying the action with an ing, okay? Now, let's have an example, please, Walter. Can you provide us with an example? I love... Uh, I love uh, my wife. Okay, yeah, you love your wife, but let's use an ing verb form, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, I love watching. Uh -huh. I love I love watching. Um, cine. Uh, movies. Movies. Uh, movies. At the theater. At the movie yes, theater. No. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay then. We have the idea here and we've got to be very careful with the verbs that requires an ing verb form after them, okay? So here in the manual, we so prefer dislike. Now we know like and love, for example, okay? These are just examples of another verbs, right? Uh, there are a lot of verbs that require ing after them, but at the moment, just know that after like, it's a very common uh, verb and also prefer it's another common verb and love is a very common verb. Dislike is a very common verb and we use it a lot, use them a lot. So we need to know that after these verbs, we use a gerund, okay? Now, what did we say about, sorry, what did we say about subjects? It means that the gerunds become a noun, okay? Gerunds become a noun. And then we could uh, get those, get, those examples, increasing, for example, right? Increasing our sales, it said, it says they're increasing. We could, um, mm, increasing showrooms, okay? Increasing showrooms um, is a very good strategy, okay? 
Okay, this is just giving an example. Okay, using the same verb that they are giving us here as an example. Okay, increasing showrooms is a very good strategy. You see, I'm using the verb at the beginning of the sentence, okay? At the beginning of the sentence, and I'm talking about increasing, increasing. This is the subject, okay? This is the subject, what we are talking about, okay? Uh, let's think, paying on time, paying on time is, the best um, for not getting um, for not getting extra charges. Okay, this is another example. Okay, paying on time is the best for not getting extra charges. Okay, and again, we are using ing at the beginning. Okay, as a noun, gerunds becomes, become a noun, okay? Do you think, uh, can you give me an example using as a subject? Uh, sure. uh -huh. uh, running is help as it is. Uh, Again? Running. Okay, running yes. healthy. Running is healthy. Okay, great. Very good. Can you give me another example, please, Adeli? Um, eating vegetable is eating. healthy. Excellent. There you go. Excellent. So now we know how to use ing verb form as a subject, okay? As a noun. So, okay, let's continue. We did the feedback already. And just let me see something. Do you remember how to use such and so? Do you remember how to use such and so? I want to I want to take you to just give me one second to an exercise, okay? I'm going to take you to an exercise because it's very important for us to know how to use that. And some of you are having trouble understanding that, just let me get this link for you. Okay, I'm going to leave this and I will send you at this moment a link, okay? I will send it uh, through this chat, okay? There it is. Okay, then open the chat here in Zoom and then you've got it there. Click on it and let's start. What do you have to do there? You have to complete, okay? You have to complete with so or such, okay? Such. 
They are 20 sentences, okay? They are 20 sentences. But let's see. Mm -hmm. If you have a question, you may ask me, okay? Okay. You can click on check at the same after you um, type in so or such, and then you, you click on check and it's going to tell you if it is correct or if it is incorrect, okay? Okay. Please tell me when you finish. Finish, teacher. Excellent. Did you have any trouble? Do you have a question about that? Mm, yes, teacher. Uh, one question. Uh huh. Tell me. In the number for fourteen, mm -hmm. uh, is, is such. But yes, I, I remember uh, we we use such mm -hmm. uh, is before. Uh, as uh, a uh, subject, right? Okay, here uh, it's not an adjective, right? A lot is not an adjective. Check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here is an amount, okay? Here is an amount or giving an idea of something big, right? That's why we use such, okay? That's why we, we use such. It's kind of an expression, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because you were looking for a noun right there, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. But it's, this is just like an expression. I think we never saw that in the class, but it's very important for you to remember it next time. Okay, you can say such a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Isha. Okay. Okay. Anyone else finished? Finished. Not yet, teacher. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to give you two more minutes. Okay, thank you. I'm finished, teacher. Excellent. Did you have any question when you were solving it? No. Okay. Okay. Finish teacher. Good. Very good. Did you have any question when you were solving it? Mm, if you if you will will give us a little technique to what we have to use SOSH and so. But the last class you told us. So, so tips, and, but I didn't understand you well about such. Such, okay. Yeah. Such, you use such the same as so uh, as, as a magnifier, right? Or an emphasizer of something that you want to say about someone or something or maybe an animal, whatever. So you use such and then you write an adjective and a noun, okay? An adjective and a noun. Uh, but there has to be a noun after such. If you don't have a noun, only an adjective, then you can't use it, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So now uh, let's go and let's move on. Okay, let's move on. And we're going to our manual tonight. We are going to the topic for today. The topic for today, the topic for today is zero conditional. Real, uh, in the real life, we are we are uh, always needing to say facts, facts, things that maybe they are things that uh, are provable, provable. Um, for example, you always say, if something happens, then something happens, okay? For example, I could say, I could say, if you, free, uh, if you freeze water, if you freeze water, it turns into ice, okay? That's a fact, that's true, always is going to happen. So when we want to talk about real facts or things that uh, they don't change, they are the same and it's certainly going to happen, then we use zero conditional, okay? Is, is that the use? We use if, if. Now, let's see some things that you need to visualize here. Just let me get there. And I will show you some examples of when and how do we use the zero conditional, okay? 
are. Share this with you. Okay. Zero conditional is uh, the way to talk about things that you, that they are always true. They are always true. When we want to talk about facts, then we use zero conditional. And what is zero conditional? The grammar thing is if, okay, we use this little word, if, okay, like giving a, a condition, right? Like expressing a condition. And we use this zero conditional with the present simple of the verb, okay? And also the result of this condition, the result, it's in present simple too. Okay, let's see what we're talking about with, with zero conditional. This is what I was saying. If something, something, then something, something, okay? We have a condition and we have a result, okay? A condition and a result. So let's see. Let's see this one. If I take a very long sun bath, I get burned, okay? I get burned and it's so painful, right? When you get burned, you see, this is for sure that it is going to happen. If I take a very long sun bath, I get burned. You see, present here, present simple, and I use present simple to uh, talk about the result or the fact. Now let's see, I could say one subject in this class, in this sentence, and in the second sentence, I can use a different, a different subject, okay? Get this, this is very important before going to the manual, okay? My skin and I, okay? Two different subjects. Now let's see, if I take a very long sun bath, my skin gets burned. My skin gets burned. So we are using present simple here and present simple here, okay? Are we okay there? So in this case, in this case, we use present simple here. And here, if you see, I use for the third person. The third is it here, right? It, my skin gets, remember the letter S, okay? So present simple. Now let's go to next one. If I work too much, I get tired, okay? If I work too much, I get tired, okay? But we can change the order of the sentences. We can say first, I get tired, the result, okay? And then I can say the condition, if I work too much. And it's the same. It's the same, it doesn't change the meaning, okay? You can use it either way, you can use it with the condition at the beginning or with the condition at the end, okay? But you need two things to, um, to use the zero conditional because you need a sentence with the condition and a sentence with the result, okay? They are two sentences together with a comma, okay? With a comma, do you see? Okay, now let's see something else. A little more complicated because it has some more words, but the result is the same, the condition is the same, if, okay? If you owe money to someone, 
comma, and then comes the result. You have to set up a payment plan, okay? Do you see this? Okay, if you owe money to someone, you have to set up a payment plan. You see, what is the condition here? What is the condition? Okay. Oh money. Oh money. Oh money. Yes. Oh money. Oh money. And what is that result? Set up a payment. Okay. What is the condition? Oh money. If you don't owe money, then you don't have to set up a payment plan, right? So you need a condition and you uh, want to show a result, okay? Now, do you think you can give me another example using money here? One example. Using all the money? Uh, or, or money, uh, uh, money, anything about money. If, if I have some money, I can take a long vacation. <laughs> Good. Excellent. You see? So, you see, present here, present here. Do you think you can give me another example using money? If you spend all money? You have to use your credit card. Aha, uh -huh. good. If you have one, right? <laughs> Credit card. Okay, yes. Credit card. There you go. Another one. Can you give me another example? Anyone? I'll just select. Mm hmm. If I have money, I can buy what I need, right? Correct. If I have money, I can buy what I need. So we have a condition and we have a result. Uh, result in action from that condition. If this happened, then this happened. Okay. And this is for sure. This is certain. Okay, now let's go to our manuals. And let's go to our manuals. We're going to do this uh, analysis after saying this, okay? How can we use zero condition? Let's see. Mm -hmm. If, okay, if. We saw only if and examples before, but we have another word, okay? We have another word to use in zero condition, okay? Now let's see first if. 
What do we do if we have very low assets? What do we do if we have very low assets? Ah, so it means that we can use zero conditional also in questions, right? We can use if in any kind of sentence, negative, positive, or also questions, okay? So, Let's see the next example. If we have low assets, we have to even up prices. This is the condition, the low assets, right? Have low assets. And then the result. What do we have to do if we have low assets? Ah, uh, then we have to even up prices. We have to even up prices, okay? Let's see another way to answer this question. It is, we have to even up prices if we have low assets. This is what I was talking about. We can use if at the beginning, or we can use the condition using if at the end, okay? Are we okay with this? Are we okay with this? Or do you have a question at the moment? This is just the explanation. This is just the explanation. So now we're going to leave this aside. Okay. Vamos a dejar esto un ladito, un momentito, a little while. And we're going back to page 43. Okay. And let's see this activity. Do you know what this is? What does it say that this is? It's a... What is this? Control balance sheet, January uh, 41. Um, thousand zero uh, seven, seventeen. Okay, this is a consolidated balance sheet to January. 31st, 2017, okay? And if you see, we have two columns here. We have 2016 and we have 2017, okay? So we can compare, right? We can compare the results on January uh, for 2016 and 2017, two years, two periods of time, correct? So now let's see, what does a balance sheet contain? What does a balance sheet contain? Can you tell me what are the elements on a balance sheet? What does a balance sheet contain? Do you remember this vocabulary? Income. Incomes, yes. Incomes, outcomes. Outcomes. Okay. And we could say assets, liabilities. Do you see? Current assets, current liabilities, and the stockholders' equity. Okay. The stockholders equity. So it means that here we're going to see if our company is in a healthy condition uh, about the cash flow of the money, right? So let's see here. Let's see here. We're going to try to read this amount of money. Have you ever read millions and billions? Have you ever read millions and billions? Yes. Yeah. Let's try. Let's try. I send a video, okay? I send a video. I share it with you on the chat. Go to WhatsApp, please. Go to WhatsApp and see that video at this moment. It's really short, okay? It's really short. Go and watch the video right now.
like to know how healthy your company is from a financial perspective. Your balance sheet. Okay, it's the first video. The one that it says reading large numbers. Reading large numbers. Reading large numbers, okay? So this number is? Yes, that one. Okay, did you finish? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now, according what you learned in that video, let's see, what is the data for cash and equivalents for January 31st from the year 2016? I'm referring to this. Can you read it? One billion. Uh huh. Everybody. Uh huh. Eight hundred nineteen million zero zero. 
<laughs> okay, excellent. A a nice try, nice try. Now let's see, anyone else wants uh, to try? Who wants to try to read this amount before of reading it with me? Me, teacher. Okay, try please. Six billion. Uh, six hundred uh, twenty billion million. Okay, you were talking about the current, the total total current assets, right? Six six hundred twenty uh -huh. million million six hundred twenty twenty million. Okay, so it is six billion, right? Six billion six hundred twenty billion million. Okay, excellent. Yes, it is like that. Six billion, six hundred and twenty million. Okay, if you see here, uh, we are talking about the assets. Assets. It means the things, all the things that uh, belongs to the company. Okay, belong to the company. All the things that belong to the to the company. So in this case, let's think about the cash and equivalents for uh, the year 2017. Cash and equivalent. Can you read this amount? Who wants to try? One billion, uh, 611 million. Excellent. Very good. So now let's think what are, in this case, what are the total assets or what is the result of the total assets for the year 2016? Can you say this amount? Eight. Uh-huh. Billion. 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 Uh-huh. 439 million. 39 million. Okay, so that's the result of the sum of the cash and equivalents and the total current assets, right? So now let's think, what is the result of the total assets for the year 2017? Let's do the math. Let's do the math here. We have to sum both amounts, okay? We have to sum 1 billion 611 million plus plus 6 billion 480 million. Okay? What is the result? Equals to eight. Uh huh. Eight billion. Seven, seven billion. Are you sure seven? I think it's not seven. Okay. Eight billion. Seven. Eight. Eight billion. Ninety-one uh -huh. million. Okay. Let's see. Elvia was trying to. Let's try, Elvia. Eight. Eight uh -huh. billion. Okay. Ninety one million. Ninety one, like this? No. Ninety. Oh, okay. One. Like this? Yes. Okay. Million. Okay. Zero, zero, zero. Come again and zero, zero, zero. Is this correct? Is this correct? Did you do the math? Did you do the math on your calculator? It's correct. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So now let's think about the accounts payable. Accounts payable. Let's, let's read for the year 2016. 
What is the amount? What is the result for 2016? Accounts payable. Can you read it please for me? Nine. Uh huh. Nine. Nine billion. Nine billion. Nine billion. Uh huh. Three. Three. Three billion. Three hundred million. Three hundred million. Million. Okay. Nine billion. Three hundred million. Million. Okay. Now let's see for 2017. Four billion. Four billion. Four hundred eighty-three million. Okay. Now let's see the total current liabilities. Nine billion. billion. Eight hundred thirty-five million. Okay, now let's see for 2017. Nine billion. Fifty-six thousand million. In this case, million. Is million. Million. Okay, now let's see the sum, the sum or the result for two thousand seventeen of the total liabilities. The total liabilities. Let's do the math. Everybody doing the math in your calculators. Okay. Three hundred twenty nine billion. Can you hear me okay? Do you do you hear? Okay. Okay. Yes. Then I think Magali uh, Angeli is having some trouble with the audio. Maybe it's her internet connection. Okay. Now, let's see. What's the result? What is the result? Uh huh. Fourteen billion. Fourteen. Three hundred ninety-nine thousand. Like this? Yeah. You sure? No sure. Okay. Okay, now let's see. This is the stockholders' equity. Okay. Uh, the stockholders' equity or, or the total stockholder equity is the sum of the common stock and the surplus. Okay, the surplus or the ex uh, excess, right? Excess, uh, and it goes to the capital. So let's see, what will be that result, the total stockholder equity for the year 2017? Do the math, please, on your calculators. In the okay. yeah. mm -hmm. Two billion? Uh-huh. Two billion? Again, again, uh, again. Three million, not three billion. Uh huh. 
to to be to be I can barely hear you. Honda? For Honda? For? For Honda. Okay. 400. Uh huh. Sixty-one. Okay. Fifty. No, no, sixteen. Five. Okay. Five. Mm -hmm. One. One million. A million. Okay. There you are. Okay. Yes. Okay, now we know how to say large amount of money, right? Maybe it's the first time we try to say these amounts. Is it the first time that you try to say this amount? The, this uh, amount, the amount second uh, uh, is different result. You have a different result for result for the second for this one. Oh, yes. Let me select it. What 40, is the result that you got? Forty three. Forty forty five forty forty nine. Thirty nine. It's thirty nine. Only uh, instead of three hundred ninety nine. Uh, yes. Three. Thirty. Thirty eight. Thirty nine. Like this. Uh, three. 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 Thirty nine. Three hundred. Uh, uh, Thirty nine. Yes. Yes. Okay, 339 million. Okay, 14 billion, 339 million. Okay. 14 billion. Okay. Everybody agrees with this? Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good. So now let's go to the next activity. Let's go to the next activity. Now we learn math. Did you see? We learned how to sum, okay? How, uh, when we sum, we say, for example, this amount plus, okay, plus. I'm going to do a little sum for you to uh, have present the, the language in math, okay? It will be like, for example, Four plus, let me look it up, plus six plus. equals, we say equals 10, okay? Let's do another sum, okay? Let's do another sum. I'm going to say mm, 10 plus five, equals 15, okay? This is the language. We say the first amount plus the wow. second amount equals the result, okay? Now, can you tell me a little sum, please, as an example, um, Wilfred? Okay. 15 plus 25 equal equals 40. 40. Okay, remember, it's not only equal, it's equals, okay, with equals. an S at the end, yes. Equals 40, okay? Can you give me another example, please, Walter? Little sum. Okay. And one. Mm -hmm. Twenty-one. Again. 
21. 21. Uh -huh. Then, Más. Plus. Wow. Plus. Sorry. Plus. Plus. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, three, 35. Uh, again? 35. 25. 45. Is it correct like this? Yes. Okay. So... Continue. Uh, 61. Equals. Equals. Excuse uh -huh. me. Equals. Uh -huh. uh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. uh, I think it is 56. Uh, 55. 56. 50, 56. 56. Okay, good. Good, good. 56. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Thank excellent. You. Now let's think about um, rest. Okay, it will be, uh, let's see, four minus, minus, okay, minus two equals two. Okay, minus instead of Adding with plus, we say minus, minus. Okay. Um, yes, tell me. I'm sorry. Uh, will you spell please? This. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Will you spell please? <coughs> Manium or minium? How do you pronounce? Minus. 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 Uh huh. Okay, this is for the sum. Now let's see resting here. Uh, We're gonna say, for example, four minus two. Okay. Uh, let's say two equals equals two. Okay, this is the language. This is the language that we use when we read uh an arithmetic operation okay arithmetic yeah operation so we use these words okay are we okay with this we're not saying multiply right now and we are not saying division just some and the rest okay let's see Now, let's continue with our manuals. Let's continue with our manuals because there we have uh, two questions. Uh, let me erase, let me erase. Uh, did you take note of the amounts? Can you take note about the amounts, please? Uh, going to move it back. Take note, please because they are going to be useful for answering the next activity. Ok, tomen nota de estas cantidades que pusimos porque nos van a servir para la otra actividad. Ok. Okay. Let me erase this. Okay, can you read please the instruction? Let's see. Carla Marielos, are you there? Read the instructions, please. No, it's not here, Carla. Yeah, Carla, read, there you are. Read the information again to answer the question. Okay, read the information again 
to answer the questions. Let's see question number one. Question number one. Can you read that question, please, Francisco? Number one. Hello, teacher. Uh, number one. Yes, please. How much is the total of assets and liability in 2017? Okay. Can you tell us this summatory? Okay. The total of assets and liabilities. So we have to sum the two results, okay? These two results. Okay. What is the amount? How much? It is eight billion. Sure, number two. Oh, Only number the... one. And let's do the answer. Let's do the math to obtain the result, okay? Eight billion. Okay, are you sure eight? Eight. eight. But the total, do you, do you're saying the total, okay? Only here you had eight, 8 billion. So you have to sum assets and liabilities together, right? Together. Sure. Sure. Okay. Sure. Tell me. Uh, the amount is. 14 billion, 300,000, 300, like this. I can barely hear you. Did you get the amount, any one of you? 14 billion, uh-huh, and then? 339. Like this? Yeah. Uh -huh. so, uh, a million. Was it okay like this? Uh, let's see. Mm. I think this is only liabilities, right? This is only liabilities, but plus the assets, plus the assets, you get it? Yes. Yes. Okay, the math twenty two. Okay, I'm going to write it on the chat twenty two uh -huh. billion. Uh huh. Four hundred thirty. Millions. Thirty millions. Okay. Maybe it's like this. Yes. Okay. Everybody, please write down the amount. Okay. On the chat. Everybody, writing the amount or the total on the chat. 
can you repeat the the result, Walter, please? Or Leslie, are you there? Twenty-two billion. Uh -huh. Everybody writing. Everybody writing on the chat. Typing in. Everybody typing in the amount that Walter is going to tell us. Okay. 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 Twenty-two billion. Dictenos, Walter. Ah, okay. Uh, and, and the question number one. Yes, please. Uh, two, two billion, four, uh -huh. uh, three, two million. It's kind of difficult to follow you. Okay, let's start over. Let's start over. It was 22 billion, right? Yes. Everybody, 22 billion. Uh huh. 22 billion. What's next, Leslie? Uh, question two, teacher. No, 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 no. We are in the amount, 22 billion, and what is next? After 22 billion. Uh -huh. 22 billion? Uh -huh. uh, 400. 430? Uh, 430 million. Okay, million. there you are. Everybody, please click on send in the chat. I want to see what you wrote. What did you write? Excellent, Carlos Antonio. Uh -huh. Okay, Wilfredo. Excellent, Silvia. Can you say the amount, Silvia, again, please? How much is the total of assets and liabilities? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay. 22 billion, 430 million. Excellent. There you are. Okay. You get this, right? We, you are going to master reading the amount, large amounts of money, practicing, okay? Practicing. So let's continue. Thank you, Francisco, very good. Now let's see the next question, okay? Let's see the next question. Can you read the next question, please? Um, let's see. Fausto. Yes, teacher. Yes, please. Number two, can you read it? Uh, uh, eight hundred six seven million and two billion fifty hundred eighty four million. The result is 
Okay, it's kind of difficult to follow you, but I think you said 15 here or something, right? Something different here. Okay, let's listen to let's listen to Sandra say reading number two. Read number two, please, Sandra. Is we add a a billion six, that's ten. only okay that's only million let's let's read it together sandra eight hundred sixty seven million eight hundred sixty seven million million uh-huh and okay and two two million Two billion. Uh, uh -huh. Two billion five hundred a fourth million. Million. Okay. Okay. The result is uh, three million four hundred fifty one. Okay. So it is uh, three billion three billion four hundred. 51. 51 what? 51. Millions, right? Millions. Millions, Millions with M. Millions. Millions. Okay. Millions. There you go. Did you write it down? Did you get it? Okay, now it's turn for Rosa to... Can you di dictate it? Can you say that amount, the result, please? We saw the, the 40, 46, 7. Uh, oh, thank you, Sandra. 1451. Is it 4 or 3? What did you say at the beginning? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rosa. You sorry. said four, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do it together. Let's do it together. They, if we add those two amounts, the result is three billion. The result is three billion. Uh -huh. Four, four, five, eight million. Four hundred. Four hundred. Five, one. Fifty. Fifty one. Uh huh. Millions. Okay. Millions. You see? Mm -hmm. Okay. The result is three billions. Three billions. Four hundred fifty one. One. Millions. Millions. Okay, there you are. There you are. You see? Is there any question at the moment? Is there any question at the moment? No questions. Okay. No okay, then. Let's go. Just let me erase that. I always forget erasing. Ah, you see, after forget, you can use ing. I always forget erasing. <laughs> okay, there you are. That's an example from the last topic. Let's go and see again here. And let's think about, okay. Do you remember the last question? It's a condition, right? What is the condition here? The condition is adding this amount and this amount. And what are we going to receive? A result. What are we going to obtain? A result. So this is first conditional. I'm sorry, zero conditional. I'm sorry. It is zero conditional. So let's go and see. Let's go and see here. Okay, let's read again the sentences. Let's read again the sentences. First question, can you hear me okay?
sentí que me quedé prisada un momento. ¿Estaban escuchando bien? No ha dicho, no le escuchó. No se escuchó bien, ¿verdad? Quedó como frisado. Así es. Okay. Como nos quedamos nosotros a veces, teacher, cuando le escuchamos. Nos quedamos frisados. <risa> frisados. Ah, ok. We can use, we can use a zero conditional when we ask if something happens, then something has to happen. But if we don't know what is going to happen, then we ask a question. And this is the kind of questions that we make if we have this uh, knitting or if we need to know something, information, right? So what do we do if we have very low assets? Low assets, okay? Activos muy bajos, o sea, muy pocos activos, yeah? What do we do if we have very low assets? Okay, let's see. If we have low assets, we have to even up prices. We have to even up prices. I'm going to write this to visualize it. So what is the condition here? If we have low assets, Mm -hmm. Then what is the result? Or what can we do? What do we do? The result. We have to even up the price. Okay. There you are. We have low wasits. We have to even up the price. Okay. Okay, what do you do if you have money? What do you do if you have money? If I have money, I spend it, okay? What can I say also if I have money, I save some, okay? What do you do if you have money? What do you do if you have money? Let's see. Silvia, what do you do if you have money? If I have money, I mm -hmm. spend the 80% and I save the 20%. Okay. You spend the 50. The 80%. Okay. Oh, okay, it's a very good formula. Uh-huh, and save. 20. 20%. Okay, good. Do you see? Here we add a little comma. Let's remember that there are two different sentence, sentences together. Okay, they are two different sentences together. Okay, we could also say, let's think that we have a small amount of money. Then we could say if, oh, sorry, if I have a little of money, okay, a little of money. What do you do if you have a little of money? Poquito dinero. What do you do? I work extra hours, okay? Okay? If they pay them, right? If they pay them, 
uh, if they don't pay extra extra uh, overtime, then it is uh, we can do that. But extra hours could be called overtime. Okay, I work overtime. Extra hours. Okay, are we okay with this? What do you do if you have a lot of money? What do you do if you have a lot of money? Usually, what do you do? Francisco, what do you do? When you have a lot of money. Leslie, what do you do if you have a lot of money? Uh, if I have little money, I should not spend a lot. Oh, that's a very good sentence. <clears throat> what if you have a lot of money, a lot, more money? A lot, cuando tienes bastante dinero. Si tienes bastante dinero, what do you do? I shouldn't, um, yeah, but it's a different, okay, I don't. And so much. Okay. We are going to use present simple here and present simple here. Let's remember that. Okay. Okay. Also, we can uh, replace this if for these other words. What is the other word? When, okay? When, do you see? When gives a condition too. For example, when my family needs a loan, they go to the bank. When my family needs a loan, they go to the bank, okay? Now let's think about this, when. May I erase this? Puedo borrar, chicos? May I erase? Not yet. Okay. I'm going to open another one over here. Okay. When we use when, okay, when. Where do you go if you need, where do you go if you need um, health assistant. Where do you go if you need health assistant? I go uh -huh. to visit a doctor. Good. I go to visit when a doctor. I need health assistant. Health assistant. Sorry. I visit the doctor. Okay. Good. This is the condition. And this is the result. Okay. Okay. 
Now let's try doing the next activity. Let's try doing the next activity. I will give you 10 minutes on the groups, okay? For working in pairs. And you are going to complete the sentences using the words that they gave you in the parentheses, okay? You are going to use them to make a sentence to complete the sentence, okay? We're gonna go uh, to work in pairs. There you are. How are you? I'm fine. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, teacher. Hi, Elvia. I'm going. Uh -huh. I'm going to my work, teacher. Oh, yes, I can hear that you are at work. Okay, we are doing or completing activity number five in page 44. Page 44. Yes, page 44 and the activity is activity number five. We have to complete the sentences. Do you, do you have uh, the manual there? Or do you want? This moment, no, no teacher. Don't you have it? Okay, I'm going to share it. Or I don't know if Elvia can share your screen. Can you share your screen, Elvia? Yes. Compartir la pantalla. Yes, yes, share screen. Mm -hmm. Maybe then I'm going to send also the only the image, okay. Let's see if it is possible to send it like this here. Okay, there you are. You have it on the chat. Okay, no problem, Elia, no problem. I send it through the chat, Francisco. In WhatsApp, teacher. Oh, yes, on WhatsApp. Yeah, so. On WhatsApp, but something yeah. is happening with the connection also. Oh, I'm sorry. One, one second, because it's on the line. Okay, there it is. Thanks, teacher. Okay. 
Now you may start with number one. Complete the sentence using the word provide the correct verb. Okay. Is you is use if or, or when? You can use either when or either if according, according how it sounds. Okay, according how it sounds. Okay. Remember the present simple. That's what they are, um, they are asking there, okay? If I if wake, I up, wake up, uh huh, wake up late, right? Late. Mm -hmm. I, I I be no, I am. I I am. Um. B. No, no, no. You have to conjugate the verb, okay? You have to write the correct form of the verb in present simple, okay? Present simple. Remember the third person, remember the plural, and remember the first person, okay? For example, for B, we, we have I am, you are, he is, she is, it is. Okay? I am. I am late for work. Okay? I am late for work. Excellent. Uh, yes, Francisco? Wake, wake up late. Uh-huh. I am late for work. Correct. My son was number two. My son ordered the food. Present simple. Oh, present, present. Yes. My son burns. Yes, burns with Burn. an S, Burn. right? Burns. The food if cooks. Yes. Elvia, if he. If he. Uh huh. Is cook alone. Uh -huh, but it's the third person. Remember letter S at the end. Cooks, right? Cooks. Cooks. Uh -huh. Okay. Then continue, guys. I'm going to, to another group at the moment, okay? See you later. See you. If employees no eat, will they not be healthy? Will she pay her bills on time? She not have to pay extra money. If the income is be good, an employee receive a, bon a bonus. 
we sell more product when we know the customer need. Okay. okay, girls, look, what do we have to do here? We have to complete the sentence with the correct verb form. Remember that in zero conditional, we use present simple, okay? Present simple. But remember that the verbs in present simple, uh, they change for l l the third person. Do you remember? For he and she, we add a letter S, for example. Do you remember right. that? And when we are saying a negative, a negative statement, then we use doesn't and don't. Remember, let's remember. Okay, so number one, what is number one? Can you read it for me? Complete. If I, if I have a cat. Lay, uh, lay, I be. Mm. Play for what? Okay. Uh, what do we say? I, we don't say I be. What do we say? We say I am. Okay. I am. Um, do you remember? Compliment mm, verb to be. Yes, conjugating. Yes. Uh -huh. hmm? I am be. Yeah, my son. Yes, of course. Correct. Mm -hmm. My son burns. The food. The food, the food is, is good. he cooked. Good. Good. Uh -huh. uh, he employs the don't uh -huh, because don't they are plural eat. don't eat don't eat okay uh -huh. okay don't eat don't be uh, mm -hmm. don't be uh, no they, they are Aha. Uh -huh. No, no B, no B. No B. They are. They are not. Aha. Uh -huh. They are not B. No, no, no. They are not healthy. Okay. They aren't. Uh, they are not healthy. Okay. They aren't healthy. Yes. I yeah. We she pay. She, she not. She don't. She does. She does. She does what? Doesn't. Because it's doesn't. negative, right? Uh huh. Doesn't. Mm -hmm. Doesn't. She doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very <laughs> yes. And where do you hi. live? Ah, I I work as a receptionist. I work in a hotel here in El Santa Beach. Mm -hmm. It is good. You have to yes. learn more to attend a, all all visitors. Yes, our clients are very mm -hmm. some clients are very complicated. Uh -huh. Teacher. Hello. Un poco de teacher. En nuestro caso, no lo no hemos logrado entender lo que vamos a hacer. Okay, just just let me. I'm sorry. I'm having some trouble with as assigning one, uh, assigning Maria Fernanda to a to a group. So um, this is the problem here because. Uh, just just allow me one second. Let me see. You are a group. What group are you? What group are you? Okay, let's try. Maybe, maybe Maria Fernanda join us. Okay. Okay, the activity is uh, in page 44 
of your manual. And it's activity number five. It says complete the sentences okay. using the words provided and the correct verb. The correct verb means that we use present simple in the condition and present simple in the result. So in present simple, remember that we conjugate the verb. Remember that for the third person, we use a letter S in each verb. Mm -hmm. You remember? Okay, let's try yes. number one. Let's try number one. If I wake up. Uh huh. Wake up what? Wake up late. Late. Mm -hmm. I. I be late for work. B. Conjugate B. Remember. I am. Yes, correct. So it is. I am late for work. There you are. Hello, Maria Fernanda. Oh. Maria Fernanda, were you able to connect? We can't see you, but we are in. Okay, hello. Look, we are in page 44 of your manual, okay? Here I am with you guys. Continue, continue, Walter. Number two. Number two. Bull born the foot is he? Mm -hmm. Is he? My is son. Uh -huh. My son. Bull the foot is, is he? What is what is uh, when? Okay, what is the third person for burn? We add a letter S, right? We uh, my son burns, burns. Uh -huh. My son burns. Uh huh. The food, the food is he. Uh -huh. if, he, if he, if he, if he went to alone, if he cooks alone, Cook. yes, third person, remember, he cooks. Uh -huh. he cooks. Okay, now think about number three. It's a negative sentence. It's negative. If employees not eat well. What do we use in present know. simple? What do we use in present simple to write negative sentences? Do and, and does. Don't uh, and doesn't, right? Do not eat. Okay. Doesn't eat. Uh, employees is plural, so it is okay. Don't. If employees, em plural. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Employees eat when they. Okay. If employees don't eat well, yeah, there you are. Can you see the chat, Walter and Angeli? Maria Fernanda is on the chat. She can't okay. activate the audio. She can't. It's not possible for her. Okay. Go to the chat and check what she's saying because she's saying if, if employees uh -huh. don't eat well, they aren't healthy. Good, 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 good. Okay, keep keep working and I'm going to another room, okay? Because it's almost time. Okay. 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 See you.
Is he very happy? Nice. I, I like to see smiling people. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> yeah because it, it feels warm here it feels warm <laughs> yeah imagine everybody were like this <laughs> right it's not so so wormy okay then okay guys it's time okay time is over for the class but i think we could finish this activity tonight okay Let's uh, finish this activity and then we finish the class, okay? Then let's see, number one, if I... Wake up. Wake up what? Only wake up, uh -huh. Only wake up late. If I wake up late, I'm late for work. Excellent, number two, my son. My son burns the food if the cooks alone. Okay. Number three. If employees don't eat well, they are not healthy. Number four. When she pays her bills on time, she having to pay extra money. She don't have. She. Doesn't have. Doesn't have. Okay. Okay. Remember, present and present simple in the condition and present simple in the result sentence. Okay. Okay. There you are. Uh, number five. If the if the incomes are good, an employee receive a bonus. An employee receives. Receives, okay, Great. receives. Uh, yeah, it was only for the pronunciation, but you Great. add letter S. Yes, correct. Okay, number six. We are sell more products when we are now the customer needs. Mm, we are, is correct? We sell. Uh, without the letter S, right? Because it's plural. So we say we sell, we sell. Yes. Yeah, okay. we sell. It doesn't change. We sell. Uh huh. More we sell. Mm -hmm. More products when we when know, we know the customers' needs. Great. Okay. There you are. So time is over, and we have to finish the class. And the time, the turn for today is for Wilfredo. Okay. Wilfredo, is your turn? Do you have any yes, questions? Are you staying? I'm here and I'm ready to ask you. For, okay, for okay, good, good, <laughs> nice. Uh, so everybody, uh, I have enjoyed this uh, class tonight, even it was kind of locked. Locked, it means with a key, right? Estábamos un poco enllavados con las cantidades, right? But we did it. We did it. Now we know how to say the large amounts. Yes. And now we know how to use if and when, okay? Like a conditional. Okay, then let's happy, meet us. <laughs> happy Mother's Day. Oh, yes. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day, and, everyone. Enjoy it the next Monday. Okay. Uh, just one thing, you have the whole weekend to um, access the platform and please participate in the discussion, okay, in the discussion. Uh, there, is, there are some, um, there are two questions and you can give your opinion about that. It's very important for us for you to practice and also I shared a video about how to ask for a race, okay? How to ask for a race in English. And, uh, okay, then I think. Thank you. Okay, thank you. you're welcome. And thank you for, for being happy here. Weekend. <laughs> happy weekend, have a happy weekend, everyone. Thank you, teacher. See you Tuesday. Tuesday. See you Tuesday, yes. Next Tuesday, there you are. Okay. Thank you, everybody.
goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. See goodbye. you. See you Tuesday. Bye. Bye bye. bye. Okay, Wilfredo. I'm all ears. Okay, teacher. Uh, I asked you uh, some minutes ago uh, uh -huh. when we can use some and where can you use such, but you okay. told us. Uh, let me let me check my my notes. Okay. Let me check some, some. Mm -hmm. how do you say apuntes, teacher? Notes. Notes, notes. Notes, mm -hmm. okay. We can use uh, some mm -hmm. when we're talking or we use some adjective. Correct. When we want to describe something, we use the adjectives. And usually, if we just say the adjective, we are just um, describing, describing. Okay, here you're gonna see, you're gonna see three, three different ways to say, to describe something without emphasis, with some emphasis and with very specific emphasis, okay? So now let's, uh, let's go back to the examples that I had when we were at, in the class, okay? Let me share that for you. Okay, for example, if I just say coffee is good, no emphasis, right? Coffee is good. You could say, no, coffee isn't good. But if I say something like, uh, like the one we have here, coffee is so good. It means that you enjoy drinking coffee, right? You enjoy, you love coffee. So you are making an emphasis about the, um, uh, the characteristic about coffee, okay? So okay. you are saying the cuff, that you enjoy the coffee, right? Now, there is another way to express specifically about the coffee. Let's remember that coffee is a non-countable noun, right? Okay. So then we use in a specific way, okay? If I'm talking about this cup of coffee that I'm drinking in this very moment, okay? Then I could say this is because right now I am drinking that. This is such good coffee, okay? I'm drinking it and at the moment it's a specific to this one that I'm I am drinking at the moment, that coffee is good, okay? Then what do I do? I don't use only the, I don't use only the, um, the adjective, I use the noun, okay? And we change the order, we change the order. If you see here, coffee is so good, then we, we change the order and we say this, this, this is such good coffee. I think I'm gonna have another cup, right? So this is such good coffee. Specifically, this is more general, right? And here you sure. you are just and coffee is sure. good. You're just excuse, excuse me. I'm I'm sorry. I I need to put a chart on the computer. Let me one okay. minute, please. Okay, go okay. ahead. Mm -hmm. 
expected. Okay, ready? Yeah, ready. Okay, now I was saying about describing, right? He, in this one here, we are just describing. Coffee is good. Here we are doing a little emphasis, okay, on the characteristic good. We could replace so for this other words. I don't know if you remember in the class I said, you can replace so for really or for very. Then you can use so, okay? It has a similar meaning, okay? It has a similar meaning. But here, here, okay? You could also uh, replace that for very, okay? This is a very good coffee. Mm. Yes, but the best is that it doesn't have any comparison, okay? It doesn't have a comparison. No hay comparación, digamos, de, de ese buen café que estoy tomando en ese momento. Qué delicioso y qué sensación, right? So, this is such good coffee. Then, what do we have here? Uh, the, maybe the confusion, the confusion for some students is that we have here an adjective too. Okay, but we cannot just leave it with the adjective. This is such good. It doesn't say anything. Okay, this is such good what? Ah, it needs to have the object that we are describing. Okay, okay. such and the object that we are describing. So that is why we have an adjective here. Okay, because we are describing this object. So we could say that here, adjective and and now, okay? We could say that, but we say only noun, noun, because in some occasions, yes, you use only the noun, but the, those are the except, exceptions to the exceptions, right? because in English we have exceptions for everything <laughs> and that's what gets us confused okay but at the moment do you think is it okay the explanation do you get it yeah the, the, the last classes I I didn't understand her well because I can say another people hey have you tried to the Starbucks cafe coffee mm -hmm. for example and somebody can tell me, oh, of course, this is a good coffee. Okay, but, then, uh huh. But if I use this expression, oh, yes, this is a such. Okay, good that you, you should say that because you are talking Starbucks. We don't have it here, okay? Uh, okay. But if you are in the Starbucks, okay, then you are going to say yeah. this, right? But here uh, you are in a different place. So, or we're just talking about that thing in any time. So that's such, you could say ah, but it's better good coffee because it's a known count. Okay. Okay. Oops, sorry. Okay. Okay, there we are. Okay. Teacher, mm -hmm. and if I know, I want to know the name of somebody, I, I don't know, what other ways I can use to asking what your name? Um, okay, for a person that you, you already know, or you forgot the name, or... Yeah, I bet. I, I don't know. I'm going to say in Spanish. Uh -huh. Otra forma de preguntar el nombre a alguien. Mm, the most correct one is what's your name? Okay. Or can you okay. tell me, can you tell me what your name is? Okay. Uh -huh. In Spanish, yeah. we say, ¿Cuál es su gracia? Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. In, But in English, in we don't... Company, uh -huh. 
in our company, teacher, sometimes we receive American people because uh -huh. the uh -huh. company it is, it is American. Okay. And sometimes I remember that American uh -huh. people told me, but I, I didn't understand it. But my coworker told me, hey, tu nombre, man. But oh. he, he didn't, didn't tell me what your name. Okay, I remember that uh, he Who used- Who you are. Um, yeah. Can you tell me who you are? Is that, is that the one? Or don't you mm -hmm. remember well? Let's see. I, I um, remember that he used on, um, but my uh -huh. coworker, coworker told me, it's not Okay. Told me that. Uh, let me investigate about that, but at the moment I can tell you, uh, okay, like that, requesting the information, right? Requesting the information only. Mm. Allow me to investigate some other some other idioms or, or, or ways, specific ways. Remember the idioms are uh, regional from the United States or uh, in the United States is not the same in one state to the other state. So I had to investigate because at the moment uh, I don't recall that. I don't recall any, okay. any other question. Maybe I know it and I don't remember. Okay. Teacher. Uh -huh. Another question is about the, the activity that we just finished. Which one? Today. Okay. The, the number five. The, the, number five. Uh huh. What happened in number five? When when we in the in the activity five that we uh -huh. have to complete the sentences using the words. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I, I Did you have, have a, a problem? Okay. No problem, but but I don't be sure if if I I can use another ways to answer. For example, in the first one. Okay. Let me I, go there. Let me go there. I, uh -huh. uh, do you? Let me go to number five, right? It is the page number forty forty four. <clears throat> You, are we talking about the platform? Yeah. No, mm -hmm. but but the classes. We finished the classes. Uh, do we did it? The activity using if I wake up late. Oh oh oh! In page forty four. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Page forty four. Okay. Uh huh. What was the problem there? If I wake I, up, I don't be sure. I am I not can, sure. I am not sure. Uh huh. I'm not sure uh, if I can use, uh, for example, in the first one. Uh huh. Say that if I wake up late. Uh huh. I be late for work. Mm, yes, or, but. Oh, but that's a condition with another, with a different connotation, okay? With a different connotation, yes, you could use it, but uh, it's better if you say, I am, I am late, okay? Because this is zero conditional. Later, you are going to learn, so, learn some other conditionals where you are going to use B, okay? But the answer, right, could be, I am late. I am late for work. Mm -hmm. um, Present simple. Yeah. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. We have to use only present simple or, or can we use will? No, for, for uh, then if you use will, it's not zero conditional. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, because <clears throat> we, we uh, I, I have uh -huh. with with Sylvia, and mm -hmm. she asked me that. Uh, but we can use. Uh, we we are 
talking about that. Uh -huh. But uh, we, we didn't be sure if the, it is right to use it will okay. or only present. Okay, we weren't, we were not sure. Okay. We were not sure. Yes, we were not sure. Okay, yeah, but in that case, in that case, when you use in the second sentence a different, uh, a different tense of the verb, then you are not using zero conditional. Okay, because it's not a fact. It's not uh, something as a result of something. Okay, yeah. In that case, is another conditional. Uh, we have four cases of conditional, so it could be one of the others, but not zero conditional. Okay. Okay, teacher. This is only when you want to talk about things that are true, that can't. I mean, the result can't happen if the condition doesn't happen. Okay, so. That's why I said, if something, something happened, then something, something happened. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's zero conditional. So it means that you use present simple in the first, okay, uh, first sentence condition and second result sentence, second sentence is present simple too. Present simple. Yes. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Is there any other question that you've got Just that I can help you with? Then I have to practice because <laughs> yeah, I, have, I think I have to I have to practice. In my job, teacher, I, I have a coworker that he is speaking very, very well. Um, you practice day, with him. Yeah, we practice with him, okay. but sometimes I, I, I don't know how I can answer okay. when he, he told me um, some That's words. normal. That's normal. Sometimes, well, even, even uh, I think even him is having some trouble to, to say something anytime. I mean, uh, it could happen. It could happen as in the Spanish. As in the Spanish, we think, uh, is it better if I say this or if I say that, right? So it is, it is normal. So don't worry, you're going to master English if you practice. But try yeah. and, and don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of say yeah. what you know, okay? Because you have to use the vocabulary that you already know. If you don't use the vocabulary that you already know, then you're going to forget it. And then if you forget it, then you are going to, uh, you are going to, have less words, okay, have less words instead of adding words to vocabulary, okay? So you have to practice, practice, practice. Yeah. You know what, what you can do? Yeah. You can change all your devices into English, okay? Yes. In the English language, watch uh, the, the movies English with English subtitles, okay? It will be I like easy. to watch the news teacher in English. Oh, I nice, like nice. Like That's a very to, good to, thing. Uh, to see CNN. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I, I, and I also, you can have you can you can have the variety of uh, opinions. Uh, you know, the for example, the Republicans and the Democrats. So you can watch Fox and CNN, and you can watch uh, maybe the BBC of London, and then you are going to have a different accent, and you're going to say, hey, "What did they say?" It's kind of more difficult to understand English uh, from Britain than English American English because it's more common in your in your ambient. You are you are always listening to American English movies, news, and your co-workers and every, your calls. So I think it's it will be a good exercise if you watch the BBC, right? Uh-huh. Okay. That's nice. It's nice. I love English movies. Uh-huh. I love English movies and English series. Uh-huh. I love them. It's uh, it's very interesting. <laughs> uh huh. It's okay. Okay. 
Okay, teacher. I don't know, but all right, teacher. I <laughs> I asked you that, that last week. Okay. I, I, okay. Okay, if you want to ask anything else, it's okay. You can ask no, me okay, anything. Teacher. Okay. Okay. Is there any uh, topic that you want me to share some material through the chat? Any topic that you want me to reinforce, to drill it? Material? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't understand. That. Okay. Is there any topic that you want me to share some more material on the chat? Oh, teacher. No? Okay. Okay, then I think uh, you may have a good night. Okay, and okay, let's meet teacher. us on Tuesday. Enjoy Thanks. this weekend and have a nice Mother's Day, teacher. Oh, and thank you very you. much. And I hope you celebrate that with your wife, okay? And your mom, I don't know if uh, she's near you. Uh, my mom is so far. But oh, okay. But I am going to uh, have a video um a video call video call yeah okay okay good then i hope you to enjoy mother's day celebrating to your women <laughs> over there okay, okay. to your mothers around okay uh, okay okay then Thank have you, a teacher. good night and let's meet us on tuesday good night teacher See good you. night Wilfredo. bye bye